Alright, so I'm home and my mom took a lot of video today for me, so I'm not going to talk for very long. I'm doing much better today. Um, sorry if I was like crying and stuff on camera. But uh, he's really close to me and my family and stuff, so. Just. Yeah, anyway, we're not talking about that. He's gone, okay? He's gone. Um, so. Um, crap. So my mama's stuff is gonna be first, and they're paving my road, the road at where I work. So I got a few things on my camera, on my phone, I mean, for that. And the bar of battery just went down, so my mom must be really used to this today. So. Oh, what was I gonna say? I forgot now. Oof. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so. My mom's stuff and my stuff will be, my stuff will be at the uh, last part. And I want to know if you guys want me to do a broadcast tomorrow night. Because Wednesday I'm going to carve my pumpkins at night. And Thursday I go out. And Friday I got to take my brother out trick or treating so I'm busy. So it's tomorrow or Saturday. So... Leave a comment below if you want a broadcast. Now, sorry. Do you want, um, Shadow of Mordor or NHL 15 or a racing game? Let me know if you want a broadcast. If you do, let me know what game. Okay? So, yeah. Um, I think that's it, really. I just got home from work, so I'm a little dirty. I'll probably just go watch this quickly and re put rendering on and just take a shower. Oh, I want a tooth that's bothering me today. Maybe I've just been eating too much candy. <laughs> probably, yeah. So yeah, they're finally paving the road at my boss's place. So that's nice. Oh yeah. Been gone just one week. And I'm crazy busy at work. When I left, it was like nothing to do. Now it's just crazy. I must, oh jeez, I packed, oh, I don't know how many, I'm not going to count them all, but I packed seven boxes. And they had knives and swords and boots and sling kit and flint and I have 11 guns to do. So I'm just going to go crazy busy this week. I'm gonna probably be like dead at the end of the week. Cause I'm only working here right now, so it's kind of difficult to keep our things up and stuff. So, sun's out. Oh man, finally. And this guy, that guy right there. Go away. Anyways. Uh, I think that's it for today, really. Just mostly my mom stuff. I warned you guys, my mom does film stuff when I'm at work, so... All the new subscribers, here's her stuff. And thanks for watching. Mixie has been transformed into a unicorn, thanks to... Sarah, who made her a unicorn hat. Well, this is perfect because in the wintertime, when I take her out in the bush for a walk, I can't see her. She blends remarkably well into everything. Now I'll be able to find her, and actually, that actually matches her coat, doesn't it, Devin? No. Yeah, it matches green. her dog green. coat. What? Hers is green. Well, the inside of it's those colors. She's taking her out for a walk before we start school. Um, we homeschool. Oh, Mixie, you don't hate that. You don't hate that hat. You like it. It keeps your ears warm. We homeschool, so we're going to take her out before we start school for the day. Whoops. <laughs> well, now it's a saddle. <laughs> oh, boy. Wanna help me tie it on, please, Mom? Okay, I'll help you tie it on. Okay, so we are going down our trail. 
um, sorry, I'm having trouble. This is a very bumpy trail, and I can't really, oh, up and down here. Have to keep my eye on where I'm walking here, so anyway. So, we got, Jeremy is off to work today, and he's had a much better morning. He's feeling much better about things today, and yeah, yesterday was just a very hard day for, um, all of us. Uh, because they, we do live far away and we don't have family here. We have a lot of really good friends here now, though. Uh, we've been in Nova Scotia now for six years and really have no plans on moving back. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that that I'm not going to go into details here. But anyway, um, we love it here. It's just hard to say goodbye to people when they come to visit. But, you know, a couple of days, we get back into routine and it's not so bad and it's really a good thing that we can keep in touch so much better um, with uh, the internet and everything now so that helps a lot anyway so we're just going down here to the river and uh, Allie has made a tree down here with all the stuff she's found that she couldn't take home with her what's that? Yeah, oh, I haven't yet. So we're going to videotape the tree. So, Allie, I hope you see this today. I have to add the rest of your stuff on, but I haven't had time yet today. So um, we will do that and have something to make for it as well. We're going to have a big fire here. Well, at some point um, in the wintertime, the, the fire department prefers we have fires down on our property in the winter time when we can't set the whole forest on fire, which makes perfect sense. So I am freezing. So this camera is shaking. It's because I'm freezing to death. So that'll be one pile we have to burn. And uh, we have a couple more things to, uh, to do too. Actually, Devin, there's something up in the forest up here. Do you see it? It's, I think it's a, a bottle. I think it's just a bottle, but I don't know how it would have gotten. It's a pot bottle. Yeah, we have a bunch of them up there. Ah, from next door probably, right? Yeah. So I don't really have any plans to go out today because I have to get caught up on school. And uh, Devin and I wanted, we're, are making some stuff. So um, we don't really plan on going out anywhere today. Don't you go swimming in there. Come on. Is it? No. When it dries, oh my goodness, I'm probably shaking this camera. Pardon? This tree stump, that's the creepy one. That's the gorilla. So, uh, yeah, we don't really have any plans to go out and do anything much today, I don't think. Oh, my hand's shaking because it's so cold. Yeah, Allie put some sea glass in here. Sea glass in there, I put that in there. Did you put that in there? Yeah, that's cool. I'm freezing to death. Oh my gosh, that's camera shaking. Okay. I have to come and cut this tree down. But I should have cut this tree down before we put this tarp up. I never thought about that. Anyway. Let's go find Allie's tree. Okay, so here we have Allie's tree. Um, one of her buoys fell off, so I'm going to have to, we'll have to go find her, her own buoy. So she's decorated it with seaweed from the beach the other day, and I have a fishing net to put in it. Uh, did she have something else? Probably have some sea glass I could put in there. There's part of a lobster trap right there. So this is her sea tree, and Allie, I hope you get to see this. I don't know how long the seaweed's going to last here, but you never know. We'll see what happens. The other day, this was flooded. This river was flooded up to there. We've cleaned this out the other day, didn't we, Devin? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we're trying to get it all cleaned out in there, but uh, it's quite a mess. <laughs> There's a lot of trees and stuff down in here, and it's all tangled up. It's alders. They all kind of get tangled up amongst themselves, and that's not all our property. That's somebody else's across there. So a lot of those trees fell down in Hurricane Juan, I think. And, uh, but yeah, but it's really quite nice down here, down this little corner. And there's a tree. Where's the onion tree? Oh, yeah, but there's one right here. It smells just like, it's that one. It smells like garlic. No, not so. Okay, so does anybody know why a tree would what? smell like garlic? It's not this stuff growing on it. I know that. 
Do we have a couple of trees that smell like garlic and it's not from this gross stuff. It's weird. It's very weird. I smell garlic down here. It's from it's one of these from the up here. Oh, I always do that. This is pile number two that we need to work on. Um, this is from stuff I cut out the other day, mostly, actually. And uh, it's kind of nice to come down here in the wintertime. It's a nice big open spot, so we can come down here. And we have the old oil furnace down here. So we, or old oil furnace, oil tank. So we can actually, uh, but I've kind of surpassed the oil tank now, so I have to come and fix this problem. I tend to just pile stuff as I go. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a nice spot down here to um, work on stuff like this. And it's quiet down here too, which is nice. That's the onion tree right here. Do you smell it? Can you guys smell it? <laughs> it smells just like onions. I thought we had wild onions growing garlic. in here, but it's not. Or garlic, yeah. It's really weird. It's in the bark. And I've looked it up online and everywhere else and I cannot find any reason for why it would smell that way. Anyway, I hope you guys don't mind when I take over his, uh, uh, Jeremy's video. But we do like doing this and it's good for, uh, Devin for school too. So it's kind of cool for that. Though you don't see me very often because I can't watch myself and talk and walk on this trail at the same time without tripping over something and breaking my hip or something like that. We found all these buoys. We found a whole bunch of them since we've been here. And so we just hang them. I've hung them up on trees because I've hung them up on my uh, fort that we built the kids, but uh, we've surpassed what the fort can hold. So we just hang them up around the trail now wherever we can find a spot. Okay, we found Allie's other sea tree. So she found this, oh, I don't even know if you can see it, this piece of twisted metal at the one beach. There's more seaweed. And a piece of an old brick that washed up. A uh, bamboo that she found. So, and more seaweed. I don't know if I want to pick that up. Whew. Anyway, so we are going to move that down to her tree. And so it doesn't all blow down and blow away in the wintertime. So this was another project for this year, this little sort of trail looking thing. Um, it's the interceptor, so the water comes down, if it, when it rains heavy it comes down the slope and goes around the interceptor and down around our septic field. So, But it's grown up with grass and moss and stuff, so um, at some point I'll probably get a pick and come out here and work on a little bit of this every day before it freezes, hopefully, if I have the energy. And so it keeps moving through the winter time because uh, we don't just get snow here in the winter, we get rain a lot too. So it needs to keep moving there instead of going across there, which is not so good. Oh, sorry, wind. And that Coke sign needs to be fixed, doesn't it? Found that in a ditch. So thought we'd put it up on the shed because it's a really ugly shed. So uh, now I know it's banging at night. Couldn't figure it out. Now I know what it is. So this is on the other side of the shed. This is, uh, I made this because I love primitive, old, rusty stuff. But I found this thing at an antique store and I don't know what on earth it is. So if any of you guys know what the heck this thing is for, or was used for, I would really love to know because I'm perplexed. I just thought it looked cool. Well, I could look it up, but I don't know what it is. Another project I might do today if it warms up is to come and cut this stuff all back. Usually the deer eat these off for me and they've actually been done in, this a hostas, by the way. They've been done in by the frost, but everything just looks so horrible. So I like it to be clean for the, uh, when spring comes, so I don't have to come out here and do any of this. Oh, forgot to take the lens cap off. Woo, there we go. Okay. Allie, I found a buoy for your tree. Yeah, Mixie, go on inside. Go on. Go on. Go. Go on. There you go. Go on. Um, I found a, tr I found a buoy for you, Mixie. Ah! 
Oh my gosh, I need sleep for you, Allie. So we'll take this down uh, to your tree later on and put it up and maybe one of these lobster traps. Not that one, because that's a newer one, but maybe this one, if I can drag it down there, we'll go down there. Then you can have a whole maritime themed tree. So Mixie, we adopted, uh, how many years ago? Two years ago? And she has to, unfortunately, stay created when we're out because she destroys the house. I don't know where she, what her background was before we adopted her, but she's been quite a challenge at times. You can see that she has chewed through this. She's chewed through another crate, and she's working her way through this. Now, she used to stay in it upstairs in our kitchen. That's where I had it in the kitchen, but it was getting in my way up there. So I put her down here and she's fine in the kitchen, but she's not okay down here. And I don't keep her in here unless she's getting under people's feet or I'm doing something or my grandbaby's over. So we are just trying to catch her because she's been putting her head through there again. I'm coming home to finding her collar off and I don't want her to choke herself, but we have wired the other side. It doesn't seem to matter. She's still, uh, she still tries to get out of there. So anyway, Jeremy, or Devin has been um, sitting here spying on her to see what she's actually doing down here when we're out. So we'll see if she'll do it again. Um, don't know if she will now that she knows she's being watched, but uh, we'll see what happens. And excuse the mess down here. These are things I'm working on. I just I like to distress furniture. I found this thing in the garbage, actually. So it's a project waiting for me to tackle when I have a minute. But anyway, we'll see what Mixie does. Well, she didn't co-op with Devin's plan to catch her in the action of escaping. But now she's back up in here in the kitchen. And she's quite happy. And I just have to make her... Uh, create a happier place down there or maybe I'll move her back up here and just walk around her anyway she is a goofy lovable floppy crazy dog aren't you yeah you are so we had a lot of days when we went to collect sea glass with uh, Bill, Sarah, Alora, and Dylan, and now I have to clean it all. So this is just some of mine and my husband's, um, except for this. He found a washer. Washer toss is big here. You throw these washers, and you have to get them in these little tiny pipe things. They're in a little car um, wooden box, and you have to throw. It's sort of like horseshoes, only it's tiny. I've never played it, but they have tournaments, washer toss. They have tournaments and it's like a big, big thing here. So anyway, I guess I can say that a washer. See? See, see? Okay. And then I have this blue mussel shell. I don't usually pick these up because there's a bajillion of them here. But this one is just super pretty. So picked him up. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. An old Pepsi bottle top. Um, oh, my husband's lollipop stick. Uh, I don't see anything else that's like super exciting. Oh, I had a piece of purple in here. Where's my purple? I better wash it. Oh, purple. A button. That's it doesn't feel like it's plastic, so don't know where that one's going from. Uh, there was a shipwreck. There is a shipwreck off where we were looking for some of this stuff, so some of this is possibly from the shipwreck. Um, that's just a stone, but it's really pretty. Uh, but I can't find my blue. Anyway, I did have a piece of bonfire glass, too, so that beer bottle... Oh, there's a piece of bonfire glass. So, bonfire glass is glass that's been melted somehow in a fire, or a fire pit, or in a fire. So, that's just a cool piece of bonfire glass we found. And, I will uh, go and get my other stuff. Oh, a piece of china. You can see that, okay. It's pretty cool. So, I'm just going to get some more, and I'm going to soak it all in here for a bit. Okay, let's see what else we have in my other bucket. This is probably as boring as watching paint dry. Uh, I don't know what that is. 
Did you find this milk glass one? Yeah. Okay. So he's got a piece of pottery here. Sorry. <laughs> piece of pottery here. I'm not going to wash that one. A bottle top. Uh, this is kind of cool. This china here. What? I'm looking at the china you picked up, kid. A button. That has an anchor. Oh, I'm not even looking at it. It's a button with an anchor in it. A piece of... I don't know what this kind is. It's very, very pale blue. It's really pretty. Uh, where's your bottle? The Pampas bottle you had. The big, the full-size bottle. That is like a limpet type of thing. You brought this little shell home. You want to keep it? The rest of this stuff is pretty. Oh, there's a piece of china with yellow. It's yellow or yeah, yellow china on there. Don't know if you can see that. And there's another button here. So I'm just gonna dump all this. Oh, and another button. Geez, use it well for buttons. My gosh. Whoa, where'd it go? That's a pink one. It's pretty cool. Okay, a cup handle. I think that's what that is. Sorry, I'm still not getting the knack of this camera. I'll just get the knack of this camera and he'll get another one. Ah. Okay, so I'm just going to dump this all in here to give this a wash. This rock is kind of cool and I don't know if you can see here that it's kind of sparkly. That's the non-sparkly side. That's the sparkly side. This rock has mica in it. So this will go in your rock museum. We have a museum here for everything. I don't know who's back. This is my husband's stuff that he found. This is a lobster tag. It doesn't have the year, but the lobster fishermen have to have this tag on their traps. And they have a certain amount of these every year that they can use. I believe that's how it works. Almost got a 29 there. And so we find these washing up all the time, and Devin saves all of them for his museum. So I don't know what year what this one was. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have the, the year, but anyway. Yeah, it's pretty expensive to get these things. Pretty expensive. Um, this, I have no idea what that is. But some of this stuff is from Halifax Harbor, so some of this could possibly be... From this is 19. This bottle here is 1937. So that's not from the Halifax explosion, but some of this stuff is. And that's a blue piece, so I saved those. And they go up there. It's Dad's, I think. Spark plug. More china. This bottle. Here, sorry, it doesn't have a date on it. Uh, I found this rock. I think it's it can't be a rock. I don't know what this would have been, but it's a triangle. Anyway, so yeah, so I don't really see anything else totally exciting in here, but yeah, I'll wash it all anyway. This stuff's not so dirty, but usually oh, and a key. Sarah found the key. Didn't you, did you find the key or did Andy Sarah find it? Okay. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in there. We have to go all through Halifax to find out what this key opens. Well, here we have some stuff. Where did you get this from, Devin? Welcome. This rough stuff. Where we were over at. At the house? Yeah. Okay, so this stuff was in a little kind of, uh, the old house we went to the other day. And this was more in the little bay, and it didn't get washed around so much, so it's pretty rough. But there is the bottom of a shoe that he found um, with a muscle attached to it, so we're going to have to do something with that. The inside of a seashell. Who's, oh, this is your special rock that you and Dill found, isn't it? I found that one. Okay. Where's... Oh, Dill must have taken his home. This might be from the uh, harbor. The harbor? Yes. 
It's pretty rough stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this. Bottom of a bottle. That is not even... Okay, I'm going to set this aside because this is pretty this is pretty yucky stuff. We should go put this back in the ocean and somebody else can find it when it's all washed down. It's from the harbor, not the house. It's from, I know, but it's rough and it's sharp. It's not ready yet. Look how sharp that is. Get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. Don't be crabby. We're not getting rid of this. This stuff, I'll have to soak this for days to get this stuff clean. Anyway, give me that bit. So I am going to clean these things with this stuff. This is just vinegar and I have lemons soaking in it and they look kind of gross. This stuff is amazing at cleaning anything. So I'm just going to pour some of that in there. And let them soak for a while and then I'll just drain it and set them out in the sun to dry. And then poke through the good ones that I want to keep it. and the other stuff that can go, I just put it in jars everywhere. Um, it can go in that, anyway. So there you go, Sea Glass 101. Of course, Uncle Bill, Bill's T-Max, found this giant, huge screw that, um, God, I don't know what that's from, a ship, maybe? Uh, anyway, found that, and that will go into your museum, right? Yeah, I have one of them. You already have one? Well, now you have two. Eventually, you'll have enough to build your own ship. If you keep finding them. It could be from the Titanic. You never know. Okay, so Devin is going to be a... What are you going to be for Halloween? Bounty. The Bounty Hunter. A Bounty Hunter from Star Wars. And in order to do that, we have to have a weapon. And so we are going to de decorate this gun up somehow with glow-in-the-dark... Is it fabric paint? I don't know if this is fabric paint. Yes, it's fabric paint, so hopefully it'll still stick to this. We're going to put glow-in-the-dark fabric paint on this, and then this used to be a water gun. And I don't have the orange piece to prove that it is a... Not a real gun, but obviously, yeah, to me, it, yeah. It should be fairly. Anyway, uh, it'll be in the dark. Nobody will know. Um, so this part here is where the water reservoir was, and I'm going to stick glow sticks in there so it'll glow or some kind of glow thing. And um, I'll have to glue them in with. I usually use E6000 glue. It smells. It doesn't smell bad, like strong glue? and fumy. Glue. Why would I put that back together? Well, no, I'll take it out. We'll take it out. We can cut them off. Anyway, so I'm going to, well, I guess I'm going to try and glue them in there. And um, E6000 glue is really good. I use it for a lot of things. And um, it doesn't smell like totally, you know, fumey, like strong, like epoxy or something would. But it still is, it's a funny smell and it just gets to you and you're not supposed to inhale it, so... Anyway, that's what we're going to use for that. So we'll do one side now and the other side once it's dry. So there is one side of his, oops, his gun done for his costume. And then when this dries, he can do the other side. Probably tomorrow, right? Yep, tomorrow. Well, I don't know if it'll be dry in time today. Anyway. Mm-hmm.